Hi guys, it's Graham from Mergley Ventures and today we're going to talk about the Brettigy One M1 Off-Grid Living Centre. So guys, so what is an off-grid living display center. Well, it's something that's going to monitor our electrical system in our camper van. And if you subscribe, you'll be able to see me install this and all the other components that I'm gonna to use to upgrade my 12 volt uh, house system for my four x four Sprinter. Current fashions at the moment within camper vans is to have a management control system so that it displays the power coming in and the power going out and perhaps show you some levels of your water tanks and your heater tanks and the temperatures that's in your van outside the water and so there are currently three products on the market we did a review of this last last year and one of them is uh the servo from victron and that's a very good system a uh, nice display shows you the power coming in from the solar array shows you the battery size and volume of power the energy going out through the inverter charger and through all the other components that are Victron components. And there is the rub with the servo, beautiful system, but you have to be running Victron, which makes it an expensive solution. The oldest solution that I know of is the Simarine. And the Simarine comes from uh, the boats and private yacht industry. And this is a lovely little four inch screen that has all of these sensors attached to tank levels, temperatures, uh, energy coming in, energy going out, battery voltages, etc, etc, etc. And it is generally system agnostic. So it doesn't really care if you've got a battle battery, a Renergy battery, a Roma battery, it doesn't really care. But it does use the Victron shunt as its main unit to work out the current flows from one unit to another. So there is a limitation there. But it's been around five years. They recently upgraded last year to a version that's more suited to a camper van and allows you to you know show you the level of the van and, and uh, setting up so if you've got ramps on your van to bring it up together you can have a look at the screen and it will tell you when you're balanced um, so very very interesting but that again is quite an expensive system so Renergy have now introduced this one called the uh, the M1 DC home version so I think it came out of the home or smart home management system Fundamentally, it's about looking at the power coming in your house and uh, looking at the energy being used, but it does a little bit more. It's configured, or it uses Zigbee, a Zigbee communication protocol. And this is all the new smart stuff. So when you see a smart fridge or a smart house or a smart whatever, uh, the way that works is this, this communication called Zigbee. And so you can program, in theory, this unit to work against um, a set of parameters and you know sunset light drops down ah right put the lights on close the curtain great for a house not so sure that it's that useful for a van but let's see how we get on with uh, how we can use this in other scenarios so of the three that we reviewed last year um, Serbo, Victron, brilliant Simarine, X uh, boat stuff and the new versions now, not touchscreen, but really, really good. And then this, and I think this is going to be the future. So I was really excited when it became available last year and it's now become available in Europe here. And I think I've got one of the first ones, uh, first ones to be released here in Europe. So thank you, Renergy. Okay, so it came in the post, um, courier delivery, uh, it's only about two pounds in weight, half a kilo, not even that, I suspect. Nice cardboard box. I have opened it. I'm sorry. I couldn't, couldn't wait, to be honest. Uh, so the first thing it comes across is we have this handbook in a printed envelope with embossed quick guide. There is a sticker for your e-warranty card. So again... Uh, it's a QR code, scan it, register the product and get your full warranty. And it's a two year warranty with this item. So that's that's good. There is the book, uh, handbook again, high quality paper, 
uh, this kind of card. I think I'm going to be using this quite a lot, not because it's difficult to uh, install. It's fairly simple, I think, but because we're going to be setting lots and lots of stuff up. So that's good. Now, next piece. Greaseproof paper, again, embossed with Renner G1 M1. Come on, guys, this is now starting to feel like an iPhone that I'm opening up. And inside here is a four inch touchscreen unit with three control switches. So let's have a look at this. Uh, as you see, it's not particularly big or, or, or long. Um, I will set the size underneath this, but it's probably about 10 inches long, thereabouts, and about four inches, three inches deep, and a inch thick. Now, clearly, this has to be fitted on a recessed uh, panel, so you have to go cut a hole this size and fit it back up. Um, it doesn't sit anywhere. It doesn't sit naturally on a desk, uh, and it's going to be connected with wire, so it's not a portable unit that you have these days that come with smart houses and smart meters that you get you know you get from the electricity company so that's going to have to be recessed now i do understand it comes apart uh and this unit falls off and then you fit this bit and then you close it together like a sandwich across your bulkhead now that's probably going to be quite interesting because i suspect they'll expect a very thin bulkhead but we'll know that when we install it so as i remind you just subscribe and later on when we install it we'll see what we actually need to do so we have the four inch touchscreen and we have the three switches here and the three switches to operate units physically. So a light, a pump, whatever you choose to do that. On the back here, we have the three inputs for the switches. So the input to the switch, switch and out. Uh, we then have a power cable coming straight off the battery. So, so, so there is an RJ45 connector, which is the Renergy standard which will fit into the Rego appliances and other Renergy products. And you can also use this to connect to the, the vehicle's uh, CAN bus, the RVC CAN bus as well. And there is a, a USB type C connector as well. So it is Bluetooth enabled. It'll allow you to connect seven items. Now I've got a battery, a DC to DC charger, my solar panel controller, M uh, MTTP, are all Bluetooth enabled. My inverter charger isn't. This version isn't. The next version from Energy is a Rego version, so it should be Bluetooth and connectivity. And so I've got plenty, I've got two or three more slots, sorry, I've got three more slots to fill Bluetooth appliances. Now I have a Bluetooth fridge. So my fridge will operate on a phone app and so I can change the temperatures, I can switch it on, I can switch it off, I can monitor it. Okay, it's Bluetooth. I haven't even tried to set it up with Wi-Fi, but who knows uh, whether that functionality will be able to be replicated on here. So it has Wi-Fi connectivity. There is a subscription service available in North America where you will be able to store a year's data or the subscriptions of length of data for this unit. I think you also get some assistance with it, but it definitely will allow you to operate any function in the, in the van from remote using your phone app. The unit itself already carries 30 days worth of, of data. So I'm not sure whether I would, as a full life van, van liver, would want a subscription service. I think it's useful if I'm away and I want to be able to do something. But if not, um, if you're living in the van, I don't think it's of, of much value but we will see when we install it and we'll see what actually the subscription service will give us it's not available to me because i'm not in in north america at the moment but we can certainly have a look at that so we've got the seven bluetooth connectors we have a usb-c connector we have the rj45 connector for the for the renergy kit and we have up to 200 zigbee communication ports now, currently, there are not any Zigbee sensors on the Renergy website. There are Zigbee sensors on the Internet to allow you to uh, monitor temperatures. It'll allow you to monitor um, light conditions. Uh, you can do all sorts of sensors with levels of fluids. And um, you can also operate. Uh, a, 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 you can also have some function that will send out a positive signal 
which means that you can operate something in theory. So that's quite an interesting, uh, interesting uh, concept. And I think this is the future. I think um, smart houses and smart vans are going to go down a communication protocol. I'd like it to be Zigbee because I'm about to invest some energy to learn how to do this. And if you know, you still, if you come back, we'll see how we can set some things up and how flexible it actually is. Because I currently have no idea. If it is the if it is the protocol for the future, that's great because we haven't wasted our time. But like all things in life, you know, with the smart house, with the application of the smart house and of the smart vans and vans that are now fully electric that are coming up then who knows what the communication protocols are. So with the advert of electric vans, uh, fully electric vans or electric vehicles, then I think the uh, management of our energy system on board is just going to be quite important because the van electrics and the house electrics are currently separate, but I think they'll become in, in integrated and mingled together. And if the protocol is Zigbee, that is great. We have got a head start on it. If it's not, then we'll have to learn something else. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think um, it will be one of the, it will be pretty, I will install it very quickly after the first base, base equipment coming in because I want to use it to connect each item and see how it builds up together. And that's going to be quite an interesting process. And that's just the main, main, main components. And then after that, I'll start to see how we can use different types of sensors to make our lives easier and better. So, the Renogy One M1, it's a off-grid management system, touchscreen, I think it's going to be the future. This is Graham. Check back and see how we get on as we install this and all my other products as I upgrade my van. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.